Hi, I am Dr. Nand Kumar, an NCCI consultant, practicing in Jayanagar Cloud9 and Kanakpura Cloud9. The spinal anesthesia is a regional anesthesia. By regional anesthesia, we mean that it tends to anesthetize that part of the body with the help of a local anesthesia agent. So, how a spinal anesthesia procedure is done? So, initially, we do the what is called as the pre anesthesia evaluation, where we take the mother's history about the health conditions, the medicine history, also, we will go through the investigations. Then, the mother is counseled and explained about the procedure. An IV line is established into one of the arm, then a multi-parameter monitor is attached to the patient. The entire procedure is done under a strict aseptic precautions. One of the spine space in the lower back is selected and then local anesthesia injection is given into the skin. It is not given into the bone whereas it is in between two bones. Then with the help of a very thin fine spiny needle, the spinal space is done and a small dose of a local anesthesia is given. As soon as the local anesthesia is given, the mother starts experiencing numbness from the tummy to the leg. The mother is conscious and awake throughout the entire procedure, but she does not feel any pain. Since the mother won't be able to pass urine, the bladder is catheterized and uh, the mother gets to see the baby as soon as it is born. Once the surgery is part, the, is done, the patient is shifted to the either to the recovery room or what we call as the surgical ICU where we observe the mother for another one hour or so and then once the vitals is stable we shift to the ward the numbness is it will be there for around three to four hours then slowly the numbness will settle down and the patient will be able to move the legs it is expected for the mother to ambulate after six to eight hours after surgery so let's consider what are the advantages of a spinal over a general anesthesia one it is safer second it is a better post-operative management the amount of blood loss which takes place is comparatively lesser and also since it's a local anesthesia it has no direct effect on the baby the next part where we look into the side effect the spinal anesthesia is one of the most widely practiced and the, the complications are quite rare so one of those is what is called as the pdph it's a headache usually managed conservatively with fluids bed rest and some painkillers. If it does not settle, then we give what is called as the epidural blood patch. The other rare side effects are infections or bleeding into the space.